Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? So, this is my year with the gear with the Monfrotto tripod. And I'll give you a better look. So here she is. It is the Manfrotto 290 Extra. It has been a great tripod. I've enjoyed it very much. The uh, quick adjustment are very easy to use. I've had it now just over a year. In fact, I was looking at the original video for, it was actually about this month in May of last year that I produced the video. <clears throat> it has an adjustment for up and down here. It has an adjustment here for side to side. It has a little, um, yeah, I forget what it's called now. Level. It shows you how, how level it is, which is very helpful. It has a, a knob here that you can swivel, which is very nice. And it feels really smooth. No problems at all with the swiveling. Of course, I have my Olympus Tough Shot currently on, currently running on this, which it does look kind of funny having such a small camera sitting on such a big tripod, but. Video recording video. Now, one thing you can do as well, if you if you can also push these little tabs in, and you can extend these legs out really far down. Like this. If I can get it level. kind of like this. So if I really needed a stable shot, I could set this up. And of course, I could turn it to where I needed it. It's still not even level. So, you know, a little, it's still not. There we go. So for, because you know, when you're filming in the outdoors, you really don't have a lot of level ground usually, because the ground's uneven and then there are sticks and logs and everything else in the way, rocks, just un uneven dirt. So I can get some very stable shots with this. And once you pull them back into position, you may have heard it, it'll, it'll just click back in. Typically for the stable shots, I'll just move, unclick this here, unclick the fast release, and just adjust it. I'll usually will just do this, and just get it as straight as I can, and just lock them down. So. Of course, for filming, uh, I've been using the UltraPod, which my buddy Oregon Mike gave me. So it's a very simple little setup. 
are the when I do those coyote shots when you when you're walking along with the camera in front. Maybe I'll actually do one here shortly. Um, I use this and I'll just put it over the stick and then just velcro it down and then I'll just turn the camera around so I can film while I'm walking along which I might actually show you how I do that just as part of the video just because you know you might find it interesting So then there you go. That's how I do that. Pretty simple. So another feature I really enjoy about the camera is uh, the fact that I can take it all the way up. So if I'm doing, um, if I'm talking to the camera, for example, I don't have to be staring down at the camera like I would be if I was filming on like an object like this uh, concrete block here. Be nice. I like being able to just stand upright because always having to lean down and talk kind of sucks sometimes or I have to bring out a chair or I have to find places to prop the camera up and uh, you know it's really nice to just be able to stand naturally and talk and, and convey the message that I want to get across to you guys and not have to keep doing this all the time. So wow editing is going to be it's going to be fun. Thanks Bugs. I think it's time to bust out the Bucksbury. So I've actually gone through about four other tripods. This is like number five. And it's lasted a year without any problems. Typically the problem I had is the adjustment on the legs. They just don't hold together. The leg will end up falling out. I think I got a little clip I can show you. Just, you know, I mean, yeah, it's $150, but if you think about it, you know, I spent 30 bucks 
on four tripods. So 30 at four times is what, 120? So for just, you know, that's money just thrown away on, on stuff I end up just throwing in the garbage because I, I put some tape on it. But, you know, I mean, then I can't adjust the legs at all. I, the legs are fixed because they're taped in place. So, you know, there you go. So it's a little heavy, but you know, when you, when you pick it up, you can feel the quality. I've been very happy with it. Yeah, it's kind of a pain in the ass to carry at times, but you know, you do what you have to. Got to do what I can to bring you guys videos, so. Excuse me, as always, I appreciate you watching. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Check out uh, Bruce uh, Bruce's channel, I'll link below for you. And then I'll link the original video a year ago for this down in the description as well, so have a good one.